time to check in with your breath again. See how it's going in the different parts of the body. We've spent the morning working on chores, getting things ready for the meal. You can put all that aside now and come back home and see what's happened at home in your absence. Now, ideally, you haven't been absent. You've been with the breath. But it's very easy for the mind to start wandering off and then not come back. So all the little thoughts that have wandered around, gather them back here. There's nothing you have to pay attention to outside right now. Just be with the breath and the body and see what you can do to make it more comfortable. Make the breath flow in places where it tends not to flow well. It's like your daily checkup. John Fung had a student who tended to have a lot of diseases. And he told her every morning, do your physical checkup, work with the breath, and then see what the breath medicine can do for any ailments that have developed in the course of the day. That way you're here and not just sitting here with nothing to do. You've got work to do. He always warned against sitting here to be with whatever. There was a time when he was asked by a sister of one of his students, she had been studying with another teacher who had told her that the purpose of the meditation is to make your mind empty. He said, if you make your mind empty, it's like opening the door to your house. Anybody can come wandering in. You've got to occupy your mind. Keep it occupied with good work, the work of getting to know itself and using the breath as a means for knowing itself. The breath is like a mirror for the mind. When the mind is calm and serene, the breath will be calm and serene as well. When there's something unusual in the breath, you can take that either as a sign that something's happening in the body or something's happening in the mind. But it's your gauge. It warns you when things have to be taken care of. And so keep keep an eye on the gauge. And if you're not there all the time, make sure you come back regularly. That way any troubles that arise in the body or in the mind are things you'll be able to nip in the bud before they take over. This way you keep your house clean. Keep it tidy. And make it a place where you can settle down well. Because the mind, when it finds a place to be settled like this, that's when it can have a sense of true well-being. 